actually doing it. And uh, I will yeah, bring in yeah, a short version of a paper which was rejected without reason and without review. Just <laughs> <laughs> Water yeah. So now, and moreover, 
the BIC we face the problem that there's no lower bound to the negative energy spectrum. So, and so then we write a, uh, the trade in order to avoid the system or talk about the BIC that means uh, all the negative energy are stayed up here. Perhaps you remember, I don't know. So, and the CIC we does not predict the energy for the hydrogen atom. And moreover, the density of the warm S state of the hydrogen the atom has the singularity as the origin. So that's also not very So, and now comes the question also. What is the self energy of the electron? Energy of electric is electromagnetic field must be finite. Now, what is the origin of the mass, the spin, and the electric field of the electron that is possible? The, the standard model, for example, postulates the Higgs particle is a source of all mass because its field is imparting the effective inertia to everything that moves. And uh, I think this is an unproven postulate, which is difficult to conceive, at least not for the electron repository. And uh, for me, I always, uh, when, when CERN found that this, uh, what they call the Higgs particle, I said, uh, I still say, okay, they found the particle, but uh, you cannot, uh, I do not know <coughs> why. There is a proof that this particle is responsible for the mass. They needed such a particle it, 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 because the standard model was looking for such a thing. But still, uh, so I, I will show you now that we can explain the mass of the electron positron without the need of the Higgs particle. So, yeah, because you see. And yeah, and now, uh, as I said, oh, ah, no, I have to go back. Yeah, and a short, short outline. So, uh, no zero is a relativity theory in a space time approach obtained by extending the Schrodinger equation from three to four spatial dimensions. And, uh, and the Okay, the big uh, the hostile is what I must know. <laughs> that all masses elementary particles propagate with the expression velocity of light and do not have a substructure. If they uh, and <coughs> they must let's say if they would have a mass, that all order big then there must be some system system of inertia where the particle is at rest. And now the problem is also, what can we have in a code in this, can you read this double? It's a, well, for this is a neutrino, and they claim it has a mass. But then there must be, like, the, and it must be, has a mass and travel with the velocity of light, that just cannot be. So if it has a mass, it cannot travel with the velocity of light, and then there must be exist, an, a system where it's at rest. And you may say, yeah, uh, uh, the neutrino is at rest if it, 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 it is not neutron atom. But there it's bound. And due to this bonding, it acquires a mass. And if it becomes free, you see it's a, the, the proton, the, uh, the neutron decays in the proton and the an electron and in an the neutrino. Uh, and then, of course, this free neutrino cannot have a mass. Because then there must be uh, the same is with the photon. Uh, the photon and the, the same, and they come to this. Uh, yeah, and now uh, here I just want to illustrate uh, what I think now that is one of the, the, of the theory. My theory is uh, <coughs> so we always have to see if we know that the illustration of, of the survey particle dualism. Yeah, we are aware always of the fact that the electron, or well, the element particle, uh, has a wave property and the particle property, and it depends on the experiment uh, which property we show up. Uh, but 
but it's now, now our life is divided so easily now. It's like the following that uh, the elephant is described by, by a wave, a proper gain wave and the carrier wave plus an eddy. Yeah? An, eddy an eddy has the increment, that's a third. And now if you, you see already by hundred degrees, I feel you do not know where the server is also out of the way. Now if I want to catch the server, regardless where it is, where he is, what do I do? I focus the wave and then I go the telling wave and then no matter where the, the server is, I will find it as I will catch it at the focal point. And that's what we do in this candy microscope. Huh? And uh, yeah, let's go on. Here. <coughs> now, I said you, I have to show you some properties. Uh, if, uh, let's put it this way, it took me many, many years to be able to think in four dimensions. Let's <laughs> 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 give you now <laughs> have the same problem. <laughs> Don't worry. It's, it's, you see, finally, Finally, he said that I could think a little bit in, in, in four dimensions, was also with the help of mathematics and, and some three dimension analogs. So, uh, so uh, yeah, here, but now, now you see here, uh, yeah, I want to say the following. Yeah, four dimension physics properties, uh, they have peculiar behavior. Because you see, if uh, you see, if I take the four, so, uh, the fourth component of the, uh, where is it? Yeah, here. Yeah, the fourth wash basic component. So to probably have you back in quantum mechanics, perhaps, uh, uh, yeah, okay, uh, we have the time. Uh, now, now the, the electrical time now is uh, the fourth spatial coordinate. Yeah, and uh, what's the moment? Oh, 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 that's always happening to me. I don't know. So uh, if I have, the, for example, the, the four-dimensional matrix vector, what I think is just the three, in three-dimensional matrix from here to here, and then plus the, the fourth component, component you see is time-like. Time-like means it's, it's dimensionality. And uh, now if, we, if I take the square, for example, the square of, of this, what there is the matrix vector, so it can be, it must not necessarily be positive. Yeah, because here, you see, the fourth component is imaginary. And if I uh, take it's the square, it's minus. Minus, it's, 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 so, so that means now, this uh, four dimensional vector can be an absolute value, absolutely four dimensions. Yeah? The absolute value three dimensions is always positive. But not in four dimensions. So it can be uh, zero, uh, larger than zero, and that is called space light, which, which means the system is closed. Yeah? So it's closed because you can draw out its end. You see, uh, if, if it's 
Hier hoch, wenn ein so-called light zone, ja, then, then, then uh, if, as you say, if I have two points, and then it takes some time with the velocity of the light from, from the first light transfer from one point to the other. Yeah, okay. So that's on, on the light zone. And, oh, sorry. And, yeah. And, and, and so, you know, so you see, these four dimensional physical quantities, they, uh, the absolute value can uh, have three different uh, orders. For example, here, I have showed you one very important point. Mm -hmm. example, yeah, what the, uh, what, um, axial vectors. Yeah, axial vectors you, dis you describe in three dimensions your rotation. But in the in four dimension, it becomes a uh, 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 anti symmetric tensor. Yeah, and in fact, you all know, not all, perhaps you remember the elect, for example, I have chosen here as an example, the electromagnetic. For electromagnetic wave, this is a, a, the square of the electromagnetic wave vector, a, a tensor, electromagnetic field tensor, and if you write it down and apply it to the electromagnetic wave, what, what have comes out? This square is zero, but that does not mean that its com components are zero. So, so, so we see here, we, this one is the time light component, and, and, and it's a space, space light. Component. You see, but time line components always have something to do with energy. And uh, they are all, uh, yeah. And then, then, then here, uh, just oh, only uh, to show you yeah. what is a Lorentz transformation. This thing oh, is, is terrible. A Lorentz transformation is just think of you as a time axis and, and, and the space. For example, the space axis. And then you say, forget about time, you think that just as a coordinate. And then you just make in, in, in this plane, uh, uh, which uh, where this affects these two vectors, you just make the rotation. Yeah? But now, you see, unfortunately, uh, now this, uh, this angle of rotation is, is, is time like it's imaginary. So, then you write it in this, in this form, in, 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 in this coordinate, uh, and now I say a Lorentz transformation from, from, is something that you make a rotation from some given angle alpha 1 to another alpha 2. Uh, and because that does, it does not exist, because the alpha now runs from minus infinity to plus infinity. That means there is no distinct origin. Right? If you go from mine, that means that you can put your initial angle always to zero. Right? So, but now you see, uh, the rotation is for a fixed. That you must keep in mind. That is three dimension if I rotate this. Right? You see, this length stays constant. Yeah, and, and now you shall see in four dimensions, I go in, in one subplane, and so which affects the time, and then I do the same rotation, but keep the eight for example, constant. And, uh, and now you see the, if we, yeah, that here, so if I make a, a small change, change, change in the, the angle by a small amount, it's just, that the alpha, and then I take the derivative, and then I get this relation, and with respect to something, if I change the time, here, yeah, this one, the alpha, and then what you see then, is the word velocity. Our velocity is equal to the hyperbolic uh, tangent of this angle. And in order to prove that this is uh, not correct everything, uh, we just say only add two velocities. So two velocities would then, the ad addition of two velocities in three dimensional space would correspond in the four dimensional space to two rotations. One and a subsequent one. Huh? So, so that means 
So keep keep this this in mind. Yeah. Uh, 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 so because if this uh, <coughs> is the is the overhead, yeah. Here, I now now I say it consists of a translational part and of a rotation part. Yeah? I think by my server was the edge. Yeah? So that is a, 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 a rotate. So the edge edge on, on, on the of the water wave, and then I have an interaction part. Yeah? So uh, now to get if I have uh, no interaction, but uh, or yeah, this to, this is an interaction which let's say it may be complex if 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 it takes into account radiation, the imaginary part with the energy connected with uh, this radiation, so it can be complex. And uh, but uh, on the, on the, we for a moment we could forget that this is also real, yeah? because then this holds true. But now you see uh, that usually in quantum mechanics you only consider this term. This term uh, you never think of because if this term if the energy <coughs> would be zero if the radius yeah, would be zero and, and then say there would be no rotation the energy would be zero but then you cannot have a spin <coughs> so, so, so what what can we do oh you tell me with the time yeah, yeah. Oh. Thank you. <coughs> okay, yeah okay then I have to hurry so so now. Now, now you see, now for going uh, for uh, uh, three to four dimensions, this rotational energy, which we can say that it's the uh, angular momentum square, that you know it, divided by the square of the radius. Uh, and uh, now, times, uh, this, is for, uh, this takes into account <coughs> the acceleration, also in, in, in the red. In radius that makes the radio means what I mean to make to accomplish. So that quickly. Uh, and, and now you see, usually in quantum mechanics, if you do rotation, then you have the data of water in, in the same coordinates, where you have phi, that is uh, as you as a muscle variable uh, and uh, or as muscle uh, angle, and say that the polar angle, and now you see. And then, and then we just get this term well, that you all know. So, one, yes, I think it's familiar, yeah? If you, if you see. But now, you see, now it becomes really, really <laughs> To get this expression, you see, it, it took me uh, pages of calculation. And, and then I think, uh, in, in, because at the end, the result was fairly simple. Yeah, and uh, <coughs> you could consider all, all, all uh, uh, calculations. Yeah, because you see, this uh, f square here now is equal to h bar uh, times uh, uh, this uh, yeah, uh, angle. Yeah, this uh, angle uh, because I I am in four dimension. Uh, the the angle, uh, angle or accelerator. Uh, have, have six components, and the symmetric tensor, yeah, like the electro magnetic field. There's a, a strong equivalence, and probably, probably is uh, uh, this this uh, angular momentum. See, now you see, I have quantized it. Yeah, that, that's mechanical, and all I have done is I use this quantum relation. Yeah, that I say. Uh, at the, doing quantum mechanics, uh, the momentum, the translation momentum uh, is equal to the gradient. Yeah? gradient. So it, it, everything is uh, traditional uh, uh, quantum mechanics, but just in four dimensions. And, yeah. and now, uh, now, yes, now you see, uh, yeah. and now, uh, where? Yeah, and if I, yeah, if I add this, <coughs> and where did I, no, oh, just a moment, I haven't. Ah, something went wrong, yeah, yeah, no, here, yeah, okay, so. And, uh, 
der Zukunft, Zukunft kommt. Das ist der Partik, das ist mein Partik, das ist Komponent der Zukunft, das ist das Komponent, das ist das das Bild, das ist das Bild, das Komponent, das Komponent, der macht das Jörn Attraction. Und dann gibt es ein Test. So, the bit now, all I have, what I have to do, what I do now, I have, I have of course now for, for each particle or each component, I have four coordinates. But now in, in, in the system, as we will do, uh, we, we introduce a relative coordinates. So from the center and, and, and then uh, those uh, with respect to the center of of gravity. Yeah? So we say we have our particle, uh, so we, we have a relative point with respect to the common origin, which describes the rotation, and then the entire particle moves in the space in, in one direction. Yeah? It, it's like the Earth yeah? rotating and, and moving around the sun. And uh, yeah, if we do this, then, uh, and also, and now uh, I postulate it should consist of two photons. I cannot, I cannot go into how, how to calculate the photon effect. But I think all I want to show is that I say we have, we have photo, two kinds of photons with opposite helicity. And I, I always have to postulate and I always say, uh, you know this from mechanics of everything. Uh, yeah, some. Particles or everything with, with opposite helicity uh, attract each other. Now, for example, how high pressure and low pressure systems attract <coughs> each other, etc. Uh, so, uh, so that means uh, this, uh, and this uh, I assume, and then I. Oh, sorry. Yeah, and then I said, of, of course, uh, these are independent. Uh, photons which have opposite helicity are independent, independent particles which cannot annihilate each other. But they can attract each other. And, uh, and uh, if they do, they uh, form, uh, if you do the calculation, you get a constant uh, uh, four dimensional uh, density. <laughs> and, and this, of course, this is an uh, 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 unknown radius. But I will show you uh, uh, that we can determine this radius. Yeah? And there's an unknown radius, and then I use a four dimension uh, Laplace in, for, uh, in four dimensions to get the attraction. I use a four dimensional uh, Laplace equation in, uh, because it's everything's constant, rotation symmetric. And now I, I get half over way away, I get now the, the potential uh, 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 which determines the force uh, between these two parties. And look at it, what comes out is proportional to the square. You know, perhaps you have some, I uh, have heard about string theory or something, yeah? Uh, so, uh, the interesting, uh, but this is of course, of course, for dimension. You see, it, uh, so that means now that in order that if the particle ever would be on the uh, rotating around with the velocity of light, they would be on the light cone. Yeah? And R would be, R square would, would, would be zero. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, and uh, that would be zero. But I say now it's, they, it's, they, it's, it's different a little bit. And, but, but, and so then I get an attraction. Uh, and, and, and now if I use this of, to make things short, then if I use this of photo with this separate coordinates, now you see I can the total wave function now is a product of a, trans, uh, a wave function, a translation part, which considers the wave, yeah, the, pro the carrier wave, the propagating wave, and now you see, ah, 
de plus en plus réduite. Elle, elle, uh, elle rotation, ah, this, this considers the rotation. But now you see, this depends on the radius, of course, on the radius of my, of my particle, uh, the quantum radius, and now on three ends. Yeah, in three dimensions, we would have A and only theta and the part. So, and now I can separate the differential equation and now look at it. I get two equations, one for the rotation, and use, I separate them using the so-called Bernoulli separation. Yeah? I get now, I see now, this is a separation constant. Yeah? So, and now this is translation. And now I say, aha, uh -huh, lambda, if I put lambda, it was all the same, equal to k, it's the complicated things, uh, square, hooray, hooray, this is the time Gordon equation. Aha, uh -huh. time Gordon equation, completely take into account the propagation of the electron, and its interference, but not the spin. Yeah, the spin is here. But now, it is now, you see, this must be, uh, you, you will see that, that so at least now, uh -huh, perhaps this lambda must be an eigenvalue of the rotation equation. Because uh, if it's an eigenvalue of the rotation equation, then this eigenvalue must be a kind of <laughs> the moment of inertia, Rekhazum. Yeah, and uh, that's all. And yeah, and now if we do this, and now you see, uh, if I write this down, now this equation, again, and in, in this form, and now you see this is the equation of the quantum mechanics of the harmonic oscillator. And I know uh -huh, this, uh, this equation has only uh, a, a solution which can be normalized for certain eigenvalues. And the eigenvalues here, there are, yeah, there is eigenvalues, uh, and lambda eta, so I write it in this way, in this way yeah, it has such eigenvalues, so, and, and now you see, it, if I say now, as this radius was produced, this radius is just a, 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 a theoretic process of the, the constant uh, uh, reflex, and then I get two angular forms. And now, you see, aha, now what is now then the energy? The body energy is the rotation energy, yeah, which now, let's say for, for n is zero, which is uh, now m, m square is d square, and now, you see, now I must take here this one, uh, uh, the translation is negative, because it is called the translation is the square, is time lag, yeah, because here. And uh, so then, for what I get out as a result, the field energy is the same as the electron total four dimensional energy. It's twice uh, the four dimension, uh, like with the electromagnetic field. Yeah? We had d square minus e square was zero, but the total energy is d square plus d square. So uh, that means now we know that the, if we substitute <coughs> the field energy, it's the same as uh, the rest, no, not the d square. So, and then, uh, now you see what it is. So, if, if, if we take two angular forms, then uh, we get, uh, uh, we come to the conclusion that is one electron plus n electron positron square, and the, for this <coughs> energy, you see, is write it down like this, and it would come out, is to, to be sub zero square, and you know, that is exactly that it all fits because uh, if we prepare production, it's, uh, it's, you need one MeV. And, and one MeV is just two times E0. 
But yeah, okay, and uh, perhaps yeah, that I skip. The other one, I only want to show you now. It's quite interesting if you have the, the electromagnetic field. Let me just briefly say the consequences that I must replace the kinetic energy by the canon, uh, kinetic momentum by the canonical momentum. And now I say that the same must hold true for the for the kinetic for the angular momentum. And then I must add the the flux. Yeah, we usually say the flux is zero, but if the electron has a certain radius. A flux goes home in the final. Yeah, and if you do this, okay, uh, I want this, let's go on. Uh, yeah, yeah, this. Uh, and you, you can get the, the, yeah, the big perhaps this is also one interesting. And then what you find out is in the, <coughs> in the electromagnetic field, uh, uh, this, uh, the, the, the wave changes. Uh, you see, the electron becomes the heavier, the more the electron is within the field. Yeah? Let's say the electron becomes the heavier, the closer it comes to the nucleus. And, and, and so its mass uh, it, what it, it become, it changes. And uh, that's the same effect you know uh, if, if, if the, the, the electron in a metal or in, in a nuclear, and we call it the effective mass. Yeah. So if, in the, if you do bend start calculation. Okay, but that's probably too much summary. So the, uh, the new method, I have it applied only, only to the <coughs> electron. But uh, the solutions of these rotational equations, yeah, eigen solutions, I also get, uh, it, it can get uh, solutions which correspond to, to quarks. Yeah, and, but then, let's say, uh, right now what I could only do uh, analytically, I could only treat very nicely, completely analytically, uh, the, uh, the, the two, uh, uh, the two polygons, like we can in, in, in classical mechanics. But if the, if, if the way the, the barriers and, and so consist of uh, three uh, uh, quarks, then uh, uh, yeah, the, I, I, I think this cannot be done uh, with this detail anymore. But the, my, what I have pointed out, contrary to the Dirac equation, this loop formalism can be extended to any, uh, any amount of time. Yeah. Uh, so, and, yeah. So, let me then come to the conclusion. Yeah, and so, uh, so that good news perhaps that you take home as, as the main message. Uh, the, 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 in the new model, the sign of the charge depends uh, if, 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 the, if the rotation, the space <coughs> rotation is right handed or left handed. That means the electron, I do it all, uh, 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 is right handed and, and the positron left handed. And, uh, and, and then, because it's the angle, and then if you get the force, you must take the derivative of the angle, and then you get from, from the either minus or a plus. Yeah? And that's all exactly what we know. The, the positive we have, like, uh, yeah, it, it's uh, like an electron. The only only sense of a discharge, uh, that's all. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's yeah. So you may read this, and then I thank you.